All right, Mr. Bird Dog. Here's your uh, absolute beautiful two driving six that you've been waiting on. Which I know you've already seen some pictures of it already, but there's the front of it. I've got it labeled to you. The front right one here is the two pill section. That's the six pill section right there. We can flip them both on, of course. First, we're going to show it just with an external driver hitting it, which is what I normally use for driving a, you know, six pills or up. Just got two 1446s. We're probably going to see maybe a little bit more out of the external driver just because of the extra coax and all that. Whenever I've done a two driving something or a one driving something staged, I always get a little more out of it using just an external driver. That's just the way the old cookie crumbles there. <laughs> but anyway, went ahead and went a little extra, uh, went a little further with this than I anticipated because of the time that you've had to wait. I wanted to uh, get in here and do a piece of art here, man. We got full metal clads, which I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to do that because uh, ORF parts uh, is out, and I hope to God that doesn't mean forever. I don't know at this moment, so I'm kind of they ain't going to last forever, and uh, so I don't I don't even think I got enough metal clads here to do another big amp. So I was able to pick these uh, ferrites up right here, these 43 cores up at uh, the local ham fest actually so there she is man just a little closer look ported style learn from my homeboy mr. stick man back when he was alive so we got HG's in the final section with uh, two Toshibas that you actually sent, 2290s, in the driver section here. That's just one thing I found out that does work a little bit better if you use Toshibas in the driver section. Alright, I've got a little issue here, man. The last two six pills I did, I had a regulated 150 amp supply set up, which one of them modules have went out. I found out so basically the problem is I've had I have an unregulated supply over here that's a little bit too big so I'm not gonna be able to stay on the key long and and all that okay so I'm gonna have to kind of get on the key and get off I'm not wanting to give these uh, these HG's any more voltage higher voltage you know I think it's dropping to like 16 15 8 still I don't like to run HGs, especially brand new ones. It ain't mine at that voltage. So right now we're just using the uh, external 1446 two pill. All right. So see, we're floating at 19.1 volts. It's going to drop, but still, I don't want to stay on the key too long. But anyway, we got a 2500 watt slug right here for peak. Alright, we got a thousand right here for RMS. Alright, this is the bench radio. So this is what we're getting. Boom. Almost 800 bird, a little bit under 800. Boom. Right, just a teensy wincy <laughs> under 1500. Now that is right in with the numbers. If I hit this thing with the hot radio, she'll be doing over a grand. Every six pill I've ever done, I've had no problem getting it to do a thousand bird. I've had absolutely no issue. All right, so let's see what this thing does with the uh, the internal driver. Then after all that, I'll hook it up to the unreg supply and show you what it does with the internal driver. And uh, and by the way, the input reflect is literally non-existent, but I can't show that to you right now because it's on the input of the driver section right here. 
and it would be showing the driver section. I, I've just had to do some stuff with the with my bird meters, man. I've had to do some work on them. Uh, I just don't have them positioned where I normally have them. But anyway, the input reflect is literally non-existent. We have maybe a, almost a, less than a quarter watt input on the six pill section. Of course, you're gonna have different on each section, but I'll, I'll show them to you here in a minute. Um, when I flip back over, I might have to hook. I might have to hook this up. This is the meter I normally use, but I'll hook it up here in a minute just to show. I like to at least show the input reflect. But all right, well, let's see what this bad boy is doing all together. Be right back. All righty, well, I keyed it up real quick. Well, I already know, but I'm tuning it out. But I did not check everything together yet on the supply here. And I'll tell you what, there's a first time for everything. It looks like this thing's doing right about the same. <laughs> so that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I was thinking I'd be seeing a lot less. I just did a quick key real quick just to see. But anyway, still the same. 1,000 watt slow, 2,500 watt in reverse. Um, eh, maybe just a teensy weensy less. <laughs> Pretty much about 780 bird or so. PEP. Mm. About 14, 1450 maybe. So a little bit less, like I thought. Thought it would be. So anyway, man, uh, like I said, I could hook up the old hot radio, man, but I don't know. It's just something with me. I know how these HGs are. And when you get the banging on them, the HFE starts dropping. If this was my box, I'd keep, I'd, I'd hook the hot radio up and just, just lay them all on it, man. But I, I'm what you call a conservative, paranoid operator, and when I don't have the proper, like, regulated supply and stuff, I don't like doing that. I really don't. I mean, I'm gonna have to get this box burnt in though, and to do that, see, whenever I build a box, you don't just build an amplifier, and just send it on down the line <laughs> you've got to burn it in you got to use it let things heat up good you know that if you're ever going to have a problem that's when it's going to be when the amp heats up and uh so i've actually already started getting some batteries together here and i'm just going to key it up with some batteries let everything warm up good and all that good stuff a lot of times i'll do that after a video sometimes i'll do it before it just all matters how everything works out so anyway there's your variable right there, old Russian 100 ohm variable. I have not had one of them fail yet. So this thing's rocking and rolling, man. And uh, I've been I've been happy. I think me and you get kind of guessed what it was going to do. I have to look back at the text and see. But uh, it dang sure can easily get up a little bit higher in the peak. And definitely higher in the RMS if you drive it with more out, uh, more drive. But uh, man, if it was Toshiba's, I, I would do it. I just don't want to take any chances with a brand new box, man. I don't want to sit here and hand this box over to you with the HFE done drop, you know, 100% down to 30%. But it ain't no big deal. I'm just trying to be safe, man. All right, brother. Right there, almost 800 bird with external driver. Uh, a little bit less than that. If you hit it with a smaller radio, she's probably right there at 600 bird, man. 100 bird per pill. You can't beat that. And, uh, heck, 1,200 to 1,500 watts for a six pill is good to go. I've had some six pills in the past do 1,800. Usually, the to about every Toshiba six pill ever done will do 1,800 with that box hitting it right there. But of course, there's fluctuations between the transistors. We got a little bit extra coaxing here and all that good stuff. It's going through an extra relay. But hey, I'm happy with the performance. Hope this thing lasts you for many, 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 many years, Mr. Bird Dog. I'll be back. I still got to drop the fans on the uh, top here. We'll see you in a little bit. Bye bye. I'll show you the uh, two pull section and all that too then. All right, brother. I got the. Uh, the lid on, got all the screws in there, put some uh, stainless steel black screws on there for you. 
just to kind of match the uh, black and orange theme. You can't see it, but just at the right, well, uh, I don't know if I, actually you can see it real well. The uh, metal flake on here that you wanted, and boy, that sparkles in the sun like you wouldn't even know, boy, I'll tell you what. All right, let me let you see the, uh, I've got the, uh, I've got this meter in line now, just so you can take a look at the reflect. Um, all right, this is just uh, going straight through, which turned out very well. Oh, virtually absolutely no reflect. I didn't even have to correct that. Usually when you use two relays, you have to do a little bit of capacitance there on the feed through, but this one turned out beautiful. No, oh, absolutely no input reflect. This is the uh, four watt radio. So I'm going to go ahead and put the two pill section on. This is the 250 watt slug. It's a PEP. No, oh, it's right there about 220, 230 watts PEP. If I put the uh, 1000 watt slug in, it shows right there like at 300. Uh, Let's see, let's, yeah, we got the 1,000 watt slug in RMS. No, oh, so that's, that's showing RMS about 80 bird. No, oh, I think it's probably doing a little less, but you know, 60 to 80 bird. All right, just to show you, we'll turn the variable back a little bit. No. Oh, now we're at about 140 watts. We're looking at the top scale. RMS, ooh, right there about 50. We'll turn it back just a little bit more. Ooh, right there about 100 watts. Ooh, even less. We'll turn the variable all the way down, which I don't recommend running it like that. Ooh, yeah, about 30, 40 watts. No, oh, about nothing on the RMS. <laughs> so, that is the two pill section by itself. And like I said, I didn't have the meter hooked up with the six pill and it. Well, I can, I can key the six pill by itself on this uh, servo supply. So I can show you the input for that. Let's just see here. No, yeah, that's off the scale of that. Here, I'll, let me take the uh, PEP off, show the RMS. Just This is just putting four watts RMS, about 18, 20 peak into the six pill. No, about 140, 150 bird. Uh, input reflect, no, yeah, about a half a watt. Let's see, five, one, yeah, about a half a watt. And once you go full scale, just driving the six pill by itself, the input reflect goes to about a watt, a little bit less than a watt. And with the two by six in together, it's less than half, a lot less than half a watt when it's all put together. So that's good, man. With these ported boxes, you, you, the bigger the amp you go, you're, you're not never going to see virtually no input reflect, you know? The higher you drive it, the more input reflects going to be. But at that point, you're looking at a ratio. You're still looking at an SWR ratio of how much reflect you got coming back to you or how much reflect you're putting into it. For example, if you got two watts of reflect on your input, okay, but you're driving 300 or 400 watts into an amp, well, that ratio, you pretty much have a perfect SWR. So you got to look at the ratio at that point. But uh, this box is ready to rock and roll, man. So glad to be able to do it for you. And uh, just in case you ever do decide to put a remote on here, this is how I usually do my staged amplifiers. Get this amp turned around just so we can take a look at the, the front right there. This is the first time I've actually ever labeled a, a stage box. I have uh, one of my friends 
maybe some labels there, but they're a little too small. I probably could have stay uh centered just a little bit to the left more but at least you know which switch does which and boy i love these switches i went and bought 150 dollars worth of them from from uh radio shack years ago and i've got like three or four left <laughs> so i'm gonna try to find them again and uh these particular russian variables that i use which you save a couple of bucks per variable and they're just as strong if not stronger i've not had one of them fry yet uh, not, not saying they can't be fried i just have I not had a customer yet uh, say that that variable has blown on them but um the problem is the shaft's a lot smaller it's around a one eighth shaft instead of the one fourth of the normal so i had to find I, well, I kind of hate to say it. Once you actually get the, uh, have to buy these right here, the cost does go up a little bit. But uh, I'm looking to try to find uh, a good bulk of uh, knobs for them just to kind of help save a little bit. Like these knobs right here were like two bucks a piece off eBay. I've got just a few of them left. All right, man. Uh, let's see here. I think I was. Gonna, oh yeah. If you ever want to put a, I know this is kind of chicken scratch here. You can see where I was <laughs> practicing my signature. But anyway, this is how uh, the, uh, for the remote, just so uh, I'll leave it here for a second so you can look back. Uh, number one is the hot bus. Okay, that's basically where you're going to be getting your all time power. Okay number two is the two pill section number three is the six pill section and four is the ground that would be a ground for an led or a ground for the ymote the wireless remote which i haven't made in a while i need to really get into getting them back out there i know i got a guy out there making an amp moat it's doing pretty good he's doing so he's doing pretty good because i haven't been producing them <laughs> but it's good to have some good healthy competition out there with things that's just good usa business for you but uh so that's how that is you know basically you take a switch and flip it for the two pill section it's just going to connect the hot bus to the two it's going to connect pin one to pin two for the six pills can connect one to pin three they're actually going to touch to turn the six pill and of course you know two separate switches having both on all three of these so basically if you even if you took alligator clips and touched pin one, two, and three and shorted these three, um, the two pill and six pill section, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Dang garage door coming up, somebody's coming here. Sometimes that junk scares the hell out of me. Well anyway, well there you go, brother. Enjoy. This is my second two by six, I believe. Second two by six. On to a one by four base and a candy painted six pill, another one by four base, then another six pill. Hey, and who knows what's next? Mr. GK out here in the northeast end. A jaw, a jaw. We good and gone. Bye bye. Appreciate you hanging in there with me, Mr. Bird Dog. We'll see you. I'm gonna get that power supply bird dog. Peace.